Good evening. A father of six has told how two vicious thugs bashed him on a train at Caulfield. They fractured his ribs, broke his nose and gave him two black eyes in a random attack that police say could have killed him. Crime reporter Alexis Stache has this exclusive report. Bloodied and with broken bones, the 38-year-old escapes the train carriage where he'd just been attacked by two young brutes. Dead. Just feel dead inside. The father of six was viciously bashed, stomped on, kicked and repeatedly punched after striking up a conversation with two strangers about their guitar. Random, unprovoked attack. The two young men broke his ribs, his nose, cut his lips, bruised his head, arms and chest and blackened both his eyes. It's quite confronting, I don't know, and uh, yeah, my little kids had to see that. These males were, had planned it. Uh, they took some pleasure in doing it. The victim got off the V-Line service as soon as he could at Caulfield Station. While the thugs stayed on board before reaching Flinders Street, cameras capturing them smiling and chatting immediately after inflicting the brutal assault. We deserve better than that from our people. These people need to understand the consequences of their actions. Uh, a far greater. This male could have died. The victim remembers there were others in the carriage who witnessed his attack, including a toddler sitting metres away. He noticed lights as the train pulled up here at Caulfield Station and pressed the button to open the doors. But from there, his memory is blank. Police don't have footage of the incident itself because V-Line trains aren't equipped with CCTV cameras, something the traumatised father says must change. They've got cameras everywhere else. Now Alexis joins me live from Caulfield. Lexi, what leads do police have on the violent pair behind this attack? Good evening to you, Pete. Well, investigators have been able to establish these two men got off at Flinders Street Station, but then they got on another train, a South Morang train, shortly after that. Now, Crime Stoppers is after any information at all about who these two are. One has been described as Caucasian in appearance, aged in his 20s, with a medium build and scruffy, dark-coloured hair and a beard. The other has been described as subcontinental in appearance, also aged in his 20s, with a slim build, long, dark-coloured hair and a tanned or dark complexion. Complexion. Pete, obviously, if anyone has any information at all, they must contact Crime Stoppers. Back to you. Thank